You're watching News 12 Brooklyn. Twice this month, there have been some scary incidents in our borough involving children with adults trying to make inappropriate contact with them. Both suspects are still on the loose, and now experts explain what parents can do to protect their kids. News 12 Brooklyn's Crystal Walker joins us from the location of the most recent incident in Brownsville. This is a picture of a man police say tried to touch the hand of a 10 year old girl at Betsy Head Park in Brownsville last Tuesday. Just 11 days earlier, police say this man tried to lure a girl in Williamsburg. In both cases, the victims got away, but it's been a real wake up call for parents. And keep your children close, teach them the rules and regulations of the street, try not to, um, you know, sugarcoat too much about what's going on in the world. So you want to instill confidence in your kids and not just scare them. Not Naomi Barash is a director at Safe Horizon, a nonprofit group that helps victims of abuse and violent crime. She says when it comes to dealing with strangers, parents should make sure children know their address and phone number and who to call during emergencies. But they should also be taught to trust their instincts. If they feel they're in danger, if they feel uncomfortable in a situation, not to stay there, but to really trust themselves. You know, we need our kids to know that there are these like kind of antennas that we get raised up in us. Listen to your voice. Child advocacy groups say it's important for parents to keep an open line of communication with their children so they know how to react to potential danger. In Brownsville, I'm Crystal Walker, News 12, Brooklyn. Both of the suspects that Crystal showed you still remain on the loose. If you recognize either of them, call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-577-TIPS.